Friends, denizens of the internet, hello, welcome back to a brand new series over here at Lost Time Gaming. I am Devo, and we are jumping back into it, into the horror genre with Fatal Frame. Now, before we get started with Fatal Frame, a couple things I want to go over just because, uh, last week was kind of terrible. So I figured I'd just let you know, uh, I was basically out of commission last week from COVID, um, was bedridden for a couple of days, and, uh, literally 10 seconds... Before I hit start recording, the hearing came back in my left ear because uh, my sinuses were all clogged and I couldn't hear anything. Like, I, it was like 60% reduced. I could still kind of hear, but not fully. Um, anyway, apart from that, uh, we, we obviously have a brand new series today. Uh, I want to apologize for missing the three episodes for last week. And I want to say a hearty and hello, a hearty and welcoming hello to all the new subscribers who have joined in the past few weeks. Hello, how are you? I'm Devo. This is my channel and I do games. Although I'm sure you probably know that. <laughs> that being said, um, yeah, if you've never heard of Fatal Frame, uh, it's a horror game. This is definitely a different style horror game than, say, the Silent Hill genre, which is definitely a psychological horror, like intense, messing with your mind. Um, this is going to be more of like a mystery horror with a undoubtedly... <laughs> Japanese themed throughout uh, this game is very Japanese and uh, if I can recall so are its predecessors or not predecessors uh, it's its sequels um, and that's not like a negative that's it's perfectly fine but like this is a different style of horror game and this game scared the crap out of me when I first played it uh, a million years ago uh, 2001 2002 yeah that sounds right I think I got this on a demo disc actually with a bunch of other games and uh it was a uh, truly scary but i mean i was a very scaredy cat back in then so either way um we're going to get right in it um yeah that's that's it the, the, this is a horror game i'm not going to spoil it all for you right now because i'm sure you'll see it momentarily and based on a true story you see that above the new game there i don't know how uh i'm not true that is but you know what do i know Either way, let's get into a stop wasting time. Yes. Game start. Well, let's look at the options just for fun. Ah, yes. These all look good. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is there a, there's subtitle options? Uh, I always forget, like, playing a PS2 game, uh, the genre... Or not the genre, the, the gaming as a whole started to add subtitles more often to games than not. But I don't think there's an option for that. No. Okay. So let's get into it. I wonder how long it's been since my brother and I began to see things other people can't see. My big brother, he was so sweet and kind. He was the only one I could open up to about these visions. After our mother died, he was my only family. So this is Himuro Mansion. in search of someone. Junsei Takamine, a famous novelist, and a man my brother was very indebted to, disappeared while researching a book. When he told me that he got a lead on Mr. Takamine's whereabouts, He was going far away. Shh. 
Himuro intro. Yeah, apparently this game doesn't give a crap about the hearing disabled. <laughs> the forbidden rituals of this area. It looks like Mr. Takamine was doing research into them. I wonder if his group is still here. Just maybe, Himuro. Oh yeah, and you're going to have to, uh... I see shiny thing over here. You're gonna have to, uh, forgive me, as this is a very Japanese-influenced game, dealing with a lot of Japanese folklore and stuff like that. Um, I do... I, I, I know a little bit about, uh, pronunciation on Japanese names and things like that, but not... not like all of it, so, um... You'll have to forgive me if I mispronounce something. Oh, what was that? We don't need that. Box of film on the floor. Type 14 film. I found type 14 film. I think I could use it with my camera. That's great. Camera controls one. Ah, yes. Uh, circle shooting stance. Enter finder mode. Take photos. Yeah, I... Uh, yeah, okay. Square is gonna be our move finder quickly, and triangle is gonna be our quick turnaround. Yeah, I remember a kid me had no idea how to control this game properly. Enter the tutorial by selecting scraps under file in the menu. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna do my best with a lot of pronunciations in this game, but I probably will stumble here and there. There's an angry looking mask on the wall. Oh, and don't let this intro fool you. I believe the entire game is not in black and white. <laughs> uh, don't don't worry too much about that. But this game is very slow paced. Very kind of a subtle. Ooh, there's an old camera here. I think I could take a shot. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll save it. Why not? We've been playing for about ten seconds. Why not? Apparently there was an old save there from a million years ago, but it's gone now because I deleted it. <laughs> Alright, return to the game. Re 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 return to the game. There we go. It's like, are you sure you want to return to the game? Like, eh, I don't know. Ask me again. We'll see how it goes. And uh, you'll have to forgive me also because my hearing is still not 100%. Um, a lot of the, the game's scares and combat, and I'm going to use air quotes around that, but you can't see it. Uh, are determined, you know, a lot with sound, so if I'm terrible at this, uh, just bear with me until I'm 100%. Ooh, got a hole in the floor there? Ooh, there are countless eerie handprints here. Red handprints. Is it blood? I mean, I, I don't know. Why, why are you asking the universe? Oh, hi, uh... Rope hallway man, all one word. Excuse me, sir? Can you? Oh, I don't like that. There's a big mirror, but it only shows my own reflection. That's, uh... That's usually how mirrors work. Sir, um... Doing research for a book, can you... Can you help me out? Got some armor hanging out here? Maybe. Just do a little stutter step there, that's fine too. What is that? There's an old lion mask, many other antiques too. Collecting was the owner's hobby? I mean, maybe? I don't know. Although I suppose he's just kind of... prosing these questions to himself. Lots of antiques here. They might have been worth something at some point. Not anymore! Oh, hi! Uh, let me take a picture of the man looking down. That's creepy. If you haven't figured it out, um, this game's about ghosts. Hmm? Ugh. Face in the wall? That's great. That's, I enjoy that. There's an old clock here. It's been stopped for a while. There are cobwebs. I like the, the to the succinct and to the point there. And we hear old books. They're about dark rituals. Did they belong to the man that lived here? Books are falling apart. I can't even read the covers. Okay. 
Well, that's sorry state of book, uh, you know, goodness. Oh, what was that? Staircase has fallen down. Well, I mean, that's pretty obvious. I don't, I don't think we needed flavor text for that. <laughs> the stairs are non-existent. Let's head upstairs. Those stairs seem to work just fine. Ooh, I see you over there, shiny. You're not, you wouldn't betray me, shiny object on the ground, would you? Controllers pulsing lightly. Shooting ghosts! It's just as fun as it sounds! Shooting ghosts. Hold up the camera with the circle button and press the shutter with the X button to attack ghosts. When the target is inside the circle, power, mystical power, accumulates. The damage you inflict on the ghost goes up as you accumulate more power in the camera. Shutterbug moment. While you have the ghost in your viewfinder and the circle glows, take a shot. You can inflict heavy damage when you take a shot during a shutter bug moment. Enter the tutorial by selecting scraps under file in the menu. Alright. Oh, charging it up. Oh, I missed. Alright, that's unfortunate for me. What we really want, it's like, that's great and all, but we want... We want that. No, oh, the universe is collapsing on itself. Okay, there we go. I captured a ghost with this camera. This camera has the power to expose things the normal eye can't see. I remember the incident from which I learned of its unique power to capture ghosts. Is, is that it? Are you, are you good? Okay. So, uh, yeah. Um... This game is basically if Silent Hill and Pokemon Snap had a baby, and then they beat it mercilessly and locked it in a dungeon for years. There's a big, there's a black padlock on the door. And, um, if that sounds like a strange but awesome combination, you're not alone, because they made a bunch of these games. I don't feel anybody's presence behind the sliding screen. And not only that, but like, I always enjoyed these games, but I never really had the opportunity because... Oh, hey, how you... I'll, I'll take a picture of the ground? No, that's not gonna... No, okay. It's like, oh, never mind, ghosts just walking around out of sight. I never had the opportunity to really get to play these games back in the day. There isn't anything in the drawers of the chest. Because while I did enjoy a good horror game, I was still kind of a wuss, so I wouldn't actually like buy horror games outright. I had to rely on what other people would buy. The staircase has fallen down. Probably been down a while. Nothing to do with Takamine. And, um, uh, a lot of my friends liked horror, but only in passing, and the older we got, the le it seemed like the less of them liked horror. So I was less, I had less and less access to these style of games as I got older. 
and Fatal Frame just kind of ended up falling by the wayside. Like I said, I, I only accessed uh, Fatal Frame 1 really back in the day when it was on a demo disc. And man, uh, I played a lot of demo discs back then. A lot. Alright, so... There's Evil Afoot, and, uh, yeah, the door to the entrance is open, but I'm sure it was just closed a while ago. Yeah, it was. It was closed. I th I'm glad we're... Wait, what? You wanna, you wanna go through there? There we go. It's stuck on the geometry a little bit. What? Don't do that. Do, do not be making sounds off in the distance. Oh, yeah, and I can... Control the flashlight with the right stick. Isn't that fun? It's not. I hate it. <laughs> There's a board nailed to the door. Probably been there a while. I'll try another room. Well, yeah. What are you, you going to do? You're going to rip the board off? The, oh, oh. The strangling ritual first night that's 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 kind of scary <laughs> Oh yeah, and uh, before we go any further, I want to make it abundantly clear there's a portion of this game that the people watching at home or on mobile or whatnot uh, can't appreciate because the controller pulses when ghosts are nearby, and only when ghosts are nearby. So, um, it can be quite unsettling at times. I got the herbal medicine. Sweet, let's check that out. Ooh. Option? Is there... No? Okay. You know what, let's actually... Oh, whoa. I was going to say, it sounded a little quiet. We'll bump the volume up just a, just a touch. And again, that may be too loud, so I might um, undo that later, just because I'm, I'm a little deaf at the moment. But that's not what we wanted. What we wanted was that. There we go. We have, like, our Resident Evil-style menu here. And we have herbal medicine. Herbal pill medicine, it restores a little energy. That's kind of like a... Like a ninja medicine or, you know, it's just, it's ancient little pills that are good and good for you. This thing again. Oh, oh. Come on, you know you want to look at it. There's an angry looking mask on the wall. Oh, and I'm, I'm glad we have that angry looking mask on the wall. You know, when you're making your house and you're putting sconces and stuff on the wall and you find an angry mask, you're like, this should, we should hang this on the wall. There's an old camera here. I think I can take a shot. Yes, let us save it again. Now that we don't have the horrific black and white uh, horror filter on the camera lens, it's much easier to see now. Anything back here? No? Okay. Let me just take a loop around, making sure. As much like it, and this is at its core a survival survival horror game. Like I said, it it may be a combination of Pokemon. Oh, hi! 
Oh, that's... Hello? No. Okay, that's alright. I don't like ghosts. I mean, to be fair, I, I do. Like, the, if you were to ask me, like, what my favorite kind of horror is, it's like supernatural horror. You know, it's not creatures or monsters. It's things beyond the scope of human comprehension. But they also give me anxiety. picked up my brother's camera and notebook from the floor. Mom's old camera. My brother had this with him? I found a new note inside Mafuyu's notebook. Yes, that is Mafuyu's notebook. Oh, here we go. Himuro Mansion Investigation. Himuro Mansion was once the home of a large landowner that controlled vast areas of land. They also say the site held some special significance that had to do with Shinto rituals of the region. I couldn't find any detailed books about these Shinto rituals, though. The last master of the Himuro family line massacred his entire household. Later, another family that tried to live there disappeared. Because of incidents like these, nobody visits the mansion today, and it lies in ruins. Maybe that's why there aren't any accounts of the Shinto rituals and why the exact location of the place isn't recorded anywhere. September 24th. I've had a bad feeling ever since I came to this mansion. I'm leaving notes in this notebook just in case anything happens to me. I've got to find Mr. Takamine and the others fast. I hope it's not too late. There are many other notes and news articles inside the notebook. Oh, uh... Yeah, that's not unsettling. That's that's not gonna haunt your dreams. Okay, that's great. I'm glad we did that. Um, no, not that. There we go. Let's. Said so there was more. Yeah, we should probably if if we want to get the whole kind of story here, we should probably kind of read all these. Oh, and Shinto, I believe, is a religion. I'm not 100% on that, but I've definitely heard that term before, and it's kind of like a ritual-based thing. I'm, again, not 100%, so I'm not going to speculate too much. Alright, so more research notes. August 20th. Mr. Takamine needs some background material for his next work. There's a book about Himuro Mansion by a certain folklorist, and I'm supposed to look for it. A book about Shinto rituals and legends from every part of the country. Author Ryozo Munakata, title unknown. August 22nd. I can't find the book, but I did some checking on the folklorist. I found out he moved into Himuro Mansion to do research on it, but after some certain event, he and his whole family disappeared. I couldn't find the book, but I found a news article from that period about it. It's a small missing person story, but it might be helpful as background material. September 10th, 11 a.m. It looks like the earthquake last month and the murders in that village have something to do with the Himuro Mansion. This stuff is probably all going into Mr. Takamine's next book. He really seems to be into this subject matter. His output rate should be good. September 10th, 4 p.m. The entrance door is broken. When in the world did that happen? It won't open. I'll have to find another way out. September 11th. I haven't been feeling well since two nights ago. Actually, it's more like ever since Tomoe took my picture. What in the world does the rope in this photo mean, I wonder? September 10th, 1.10 p.m. There seems to be a few devices in this mansion that are engraved with old characters. When I asked Mr. Takamine about them, he said they corresponded to numbers. I understand the first few. They're the old characters for the numbers 0 through 3, but I don't get the rest. 
there are characters that have the same readings as 4 through 9, but mean something different. Oh, yeah, I, that's all... I don't know that. Okay, I guess each one has a special meaning. I'll figure out the rest later. We got more in Mufu's notebook? Oh, I thought we looked at this already. Alright, uh, Himuro Mansion Investigation. Wait, no, we did look at this. Yeah. Just want to check. Uh, yeah, we looked at all that. Okay, so. Now we got a big old lore dump out of the way. Let's continue on. Yeah, I really dig this game. It's 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 got great atmosphere. And it's a great change of pace from the Resident Evil, you know what I mean? There's an old suit of armor here, doesn't seem to be just for show, seen some hard use. You know, there's no real guns, we have our camera, and that's it. <laughs> and ghosts can be terrifying, if you happen to believe that. There are lots of antiques here, but poor repair. The owner's hobby, maybe? No, I, mean, I want the thing. There's a lion mask on the chest of drawers. There's a medicine container near the ornamental lion mask. I got the herbal medicine. Good. We're gonna probably need that. As, uh, yeah. Don't don't. Uh, well, you know what? The fact that he's appearing as a ghost does not. Uh, there are several pieces of paper in the drawer. Look like part of a black notebook. Ooh, black notebook scrap. Plot of my next work, Junsei Takamine. A series of murders in a country village. Dead bodies turn up one after another. Murders that resemble cruel Shinto rituals of legend in the area. The acts of a man sworn to revenge, and the strange correlation between those acts and the folklore. The man is gradually more and more influenced by the legends. The work will be the story of this man, proceeding in parallel with the tales of the local lore. Records of the past discovered after an earthquake. The story gradually blurs the boundary between the present and the past. July 24th, about Himuro Mansion. Himuro Mansion is known as the home of a large landowner that controlled this region. They say it was originally the place of a shrine it was built for performing a certain Shinto ritual passed down through the generations. But the people of that time kept the ritual a deep, dark secret. They were even forbidden to speak its name aloud. Today, almost no accounts of the ritual exist, aside from a smattering of folklore legends. I found a news clipping inside the notebook. There are news articles inside the notebook. News clipping! The earthquake the other day destroyed all five mirrors, the holy mirrors, which were artifacts kept for centuries in the five shrines. These mirrors represent the five gods' protection over this region. Most commonly known for the Five Gods Festival, held every ten years when all five mirrors gather in one shrine. The priests of the shrine hope that this isn't a bad omen. I put the notebook and news article in my file. Oh, all kinds of paperwork in that little notebook there. But yeah, as you can see, uh, some sort of rituals going on, some about mirrors, uh, it's, it's all kind of bad. I mean, it's not, like, inherently bad at the moment, but, uh, yeah, we're getting there. There is a box of film in front of the broken staircase. Type 14. Yeah, our camera is basically our gun here, and the films are basically our ammo. If you haven't picked up on that yet. Oh, what is it? Huh? What? Hmm. Oh, I only get to look at that once, huh? Okay. Sorry about that. Try not to spam the button too hard, then. Yeah, I can run, but I mean, I use uh, air quotes around run. That, and as you've noticed, uh, ghosts just kind of appear. And we have a better chance of catching them if we don't run, so I try not to. It's locked. I hear something on the other side of the door. Maybe someone's in there. Wow. Uh, if you listen to that, that's, uh, that's pretty disturbing. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna move away from that uh, post haste. I love the camera angles so far; they're pretty good. Oh, hello, shiny! I got the herbal medicine. Oh, I gotta be careful spamming. Apparently, uh, 
The game's gonna be pretty touchy about that. There isn't anything in the drawers of the chest. Okay, fair enough. Anything behind this this time? I don't feel anybody's presence behind the sliding screen. Again, that's probably for the best, you know, all things considered. Let's, uh, let's not be feeling presences behind the sliding screen, huh? I'm good on that. Oh! Alright. Definitely just saw a guy walk through a wall there. Camera controls too, alright. More tutorial action! In finder mode, you can see things that can't be seen with the naked eye. Try taking a photo and the controller vibrates, or you hear strange noises. Enter the tutorial by selecting scraps under file in the menu. Okay, that's the last time I'm going to read that bit of flavor text. But uh, that's kind of what I did when we were the bro and saw the face in the wall. No folding screen in the photo. A door appears where the screen should be. Just like in the photo. There seems to be a hidden door behind the folding screen. Well, yeah, I mean, duh. <laughs> Oh, hello, floating blue ball. Well, that's unsettling. If we're gonna... Looking for the definition of things that are unsettling, that would be on there. I don't like this big open hallway either. Ooh, hello, door. Immediate left. Ooh, shiny. I like that there's no hard transition with these doors, really, either. Like, there's an animation of the character opening the door, but, like, he just walked through it afterwards. There's a small piece of paper on the chest. It looks like a news clipping. Late yesterday, a human body with no limbs was found in Himuro Mountain, located in the southern region of the prefecture. The body's hands, feet, and head were all torn off. The police is investigating that the case is both a murder and an accident. The body has not been identified, but it is believed to be a man around the age of 30. The police is also tr taking into consideration the fact that a body mutilated in the same manner was found in the same location 15 years ago. I put the news article in my file. Yeah, I didn't like that news article, if we're going to be honest. There's a pretty ornamental dish on the chest of drawers. That's what I was looking at. Oh, hey. Woman in a kimono? Alright. I mean... What is that? That sounds horrific. Well, we're gonna have to find out what that is in the next episode, because that's all the time I have for this episode today. Thank you everybody so much for joining me on the start of a brand new series over here at Lost Time Gaming. I am Devo, and we have been in the shoes of... But... I, I don't remember her name right now. I'll try to remember for next episode, but I'm not promising anything. So, that being said, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and get subscribed. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about my gameplay, my commentary, or anything else in general. That being said, thanks for watching, and as usual, I'll catch you all on the flip side.